Lily Rokelin, thank you very much for coming thank in today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yes, welcome. I was looking forward today, and we've been tweeting all week. And <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. Yes, yeah. it's <laughs> been a lot of fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, you're very striking, and you're an award-winning singer and songwriter. Thank you. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you originally grew up from in France? Yes, I did, in the south of France, on oh, the Riviera. Oh, uh -huh. my. Yeah, the blue, you know, yes. sea, Mediterranean sea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Good for you. I was in uh, the southwest section of France about oh, yes. in 2009. Yes. I got to stay on a vineyard. Uh -huh. It was a thousand-year-old estate. Oh, I got my to gosh. walk through all the <laughs> Oh, it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the east coast is where you grew up? Yes, yes. Wow. Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. mm, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Was it a big shock for you then to move to the Middle Because you said you originally moved to Ohio. Yes, I did actually. Um, it's pretty I, cold. Yeah. <laughs> it is very cold. Um, I actually moved there because I had, you know, friends and relatives and uh, I actually didn't really care where I was moving and I was uh -huh. very young and I just wanted to come to the States uh -huh. and, you know, enjoy and learn, you know, grow with the music culture. Uh -huh. So, but yeah, it was a very different weather, I that's bet. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> when I, I grew up in Illinois and I remember there was a woman that came in, I used to work for a bank, and there was a woman that came in from Hawaii. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. She was so frozen. She didn't last the full winter. She <laughs> was gone. Yeah. yeah. Did you move here then by yourself, or did you have family that came with you? Um, actually, no, I came by myself. Good yeah. for you. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I really give you a lot of credit, boy. Thank you. You know, mm -hmm. I moved by myself from Illinois to New York, yeah. and it was very difficult, yeah. and I think anyone that would come from another country. Did yes. you know English before you came here? I did, actually. You know, we have a pretty good uh, oh, uh, language uh -huh. uh, level, you know, in Europe, yeah. and uh, yeah, I did learn English uh, uh, I in, love in school. Mm -hmm. I studied it for three or four years when I was in high school, oh, yeah. and that was my first trip abroad was to Paris, and it was ah, really great. Bien. Yes. Bien. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's very good. Yeah, and uh, when I visited Switzerland a few years ago, all the signage was in Fran French and German, yes. and it was amazing on how it came back to me. I was able wow, to read it. That's yeah, great. It's such a beautiful language. You got a great memory. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, what else that was really fabulous? Yeah, so that really made my decision to move to a larger city, mm -hmm. and I moved to New York City, mm -hmm. which I'm celebrating actually my 33rd year. Yay! Uh, yay. That's Congratulations. my favorite number. Happy anniversary. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Unbelievable. And uh, 33 years ago, <laughs> and even though I'm only 33, <laughs> forever. <laughs> exactly. You gave me a baby. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit more about you. This is your first CD, right? Lily? Yes. Pretty this was mean. my first EP uh -huh. as a solo artist uh -huh. because before that I was with bands in Cleveland okay. and I had released like two different rock albums. Uh -huh. That was my first EP that I released in New York when I moved here. Very good. Um, yeah, self-titled. It's got a music video on it. Um, it's uh -huh. a little EP. It's yeah, it's good it's, for you. Yeah, it was my. And you're award-winning songwriter. Yeah, yeah. I I received uh, for songwriting. I received a John Lennon songwriting contest uh, mm -hmm. honorable men mention actually. Good for you. So yeah, very very nice. And. Um, now, you've also been in some indie films as well. Is that from which so CD here? You so have three. So my music, actually, uh, on the latest one, I haven't had yet uh, any major placements. The but on the first two, this is the latest. This okay. is Beautiful Sun. Okay. On the first two, uh -huh. um, I had uh, some of my songs on... Uh, um, on, on Lifetime TV, Good on the Dance Moms show, I had three songs that we used for choreographies, and then also oh. I had. I had a song um, on an indie movie called uh, Attack of La Nina. It's mm -hmm. like an extreme ski. <laughs> oh, my. But that was great. That brought a lot of attention because they actually tour with the movie and then everybody oh. bought the soundtrack and all that. So, oh, yeah, that fabulous. was a lot of fun. And then a lot of little short films, uh, you know, some of non-profit and things. And the whole list is on my website. For those Good for you. And where do people find you? What, what's the name of your website? It's lilyrockalin.com. Rockalin's very pretty, mm -hmm. very pretty name. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you get selected for like film scores? I mean, that's pretty serious. Oh, film scores, I actually go to a lot of networking events. Uh -huh. And um, I also, you know, I do a lot of computer work. I, you know, I try to search, I look at the credits on like films or TV shows. Oh. And I try to see who works, you know, for them in the music department. And I try to contact the company. Sometimes it's a production company, you know. Yes. So I, I do a lot of submissions, basically. You know, uh -huh. I mean, even if you submit 
200 emails or you know packages and if you get 10 placements it's mm -hmm. still the placements are really big when you get one it's always huge exposure so it's really worth it yes and that's <laughs> how you found me yeah that's how i found you yes. exactly <laughs> and we know pete vogel yes, you know exactly. so big shout to pete vogel from yeah. the bitter end uh, yeah mm -hmm. yeah you had a show there recently back yes, in may and you came and i was so oh, happy that you yes. came yeah that was a great great show very exciting um I had to perform with uh, uh, an awesome drummer that's also a co-writer. Um, mm -hmm. We wrote a couple songs together. His, his name is Sam Strozeri. Mm -hmm. I had to play on an awesome piano. Mm -hmm. and uh, There was a lot of people that night there. It was very busy. Oh, it was. I, I was opening for Bruce Sudano. It's who's a pretty big name. Yeah, he, I don't know if any, anybody knows him. He's very discreet. Uh, but he is the husband of Donna Summer, and he's a producer. He, he's done songs for Michael Jackson. And things like that. So Pretty serious. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a great opportunity, great night. I'm so it grateful. It was a beautiful was awesome. show. In fact, I saw a friend of mine, Norena Barbella. <laughs> she was there too. I was like, Norena, and um, so she she came in. Uh, I had her come in for your show too. I oh, I, I saw you. her outside. She was there for Bruce, and I said, you got to come in and watch yeah, Silly. Yeah. yeah, so it was fun. Bruce is a very serious yeah. cat, you know. Oh my God. The late Donna Summer, boy, uh, yeah. she was. Uh, I was a big disco queen yeah, in the yeah, 70s, and yeah. you know she's a big idol of so many yeah, people. And, yeah, mm -hmm. and he was the backbone behind. Yeah, her he did write some of the songs, and yeah. uh, he's—I mean, his performance was amazing. So yes. I was just so honored and grateful to perform yeah. before him. Yes, <laughs> it was that well. <laughs> wow, that's pretty serious. And he's written for Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. the late Michael Jackson. Gosh. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that was really fun. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we had some photos to roll in for that show, but mm -hmm. we had some technical difficulties, so I apologize oh, for the Pat, photographer. Yes, yeah, his yeah. name is Pat Bork, uh -huh. and um, he is an amazing photographer. You can actually, if you're really excited to see them uh -huh. right now, uh -huh. go on a way to see them in the YouTube video. Um, they are all on my website. Uh -huh. You go on the gallery mm -hmm. uh, page, and you okay. can see Pat's. Uh, Photos, they're really, really, really yeah. great photos. So. so I'm sorry about the technical di difficulties, but we'll be sure to roll in those photos for the final edited piece <laughs> of the show. So that's great. And we did have some photos that oh, we're able yes. to bring mm -hmm. in. So if the control room could bring in some photos for us so we can see, you know, um, yeah, these, some Lily. These are the photos of uh, Michelle Coca. Uh -huh. She's a very, very talented Look uh, at them. photographer. Yes. Beautiful. You know, Michelle Coca, that um, uh, uh -huh. Very, very talented. Yeah, you can see the umbrella. Um, gorgeous. That one's a favorite. Boy, <laughs> that's an album cover. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I actually used it for the uh, the cover of uh, the acoustic version of my song, Thank You. Uh -huh. Yeah, I did for a single, single release. Yeah, yeah beautiful. We mm -hmm. used it for your press release, too. And Eminem mm -hmm. used it for the website. Yeah, yeah. thank you, guys. Yeah, <laughs> right. We're all very excited about yeah. having you come in. Where, where's the location of that photo shoot? This was Ali Pond Park in Queens, oh, right really? before um, Long Island. Oh, gee. Yeah. Beautiful. It looks like the south yeah, of France to me. Yeah, yeah we wanted to make it nature. Uh, she found the location. Oh. I mean, she, she's awesome. So. That's <laughs> fabulous. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. And we also have a music video of you. Now, can yes. you talk about that? Yes. What you're going to see, it's like a medley. It's like a mix. You're going to see a, a like maybe 30 seconds or a little more of each of the music videos that I've released uh, previously. Mm -hmm. So I think there's uh, four of them. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I hope that. I hope you enjoy that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I just saw a preview of it. So if the control room could roll in the video that we have on 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 hand for Lily. That would be really great.
<laughs> Such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration for writing your songs? To write my songs, I think it depends a little bit um, on my mood. I think it's mostly from emotions, mm -hmm. but I think it's always evolving. I'm always um, uh, like learning, I think. Um, mostly in the past, it's been from emotions and you know feelings. Mm -hmm. um, some of the songs on uh, this album, the white one here, mm -hmm. some of the songs on here were a little bit darker, I think I was going through a little bit mm -hmm. <laughs> more of a darker phase, you know, how when you're, when you're a writer or a songwriter, mm -hmm. it, kinda, it will kind of transcribe what you're going through in your life. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then the latest one, Beautiful Sun, it's a little more uh, brighter, inspiring. Um, mm -hmm. I think, I think that's, that's what was going on at the time. Like mm -hmm. the song, Thank You, um, we actually saw the video, um, a portion of it, the song, Thank You, the one where I'm on the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very inspiring uh, topic. It's mm -hmm. uh, you know it's about gratitude in general mm -hmm. for your life, for what you've received in your life, for everything. You know, so mm -hmm. I think yeah, I think this this song in particular was like my therapy. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and um, and recently I've been working on collaboration, mm -hmm. collaboration and collaborating with mm -hmm. different artists, mm -hmm. and um, I started to work with a film composer. And we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, this was different because he gave me a piece of, uh, of uh, music and I'm writing to it. And I'm trying to write different topics that I would not necessarily think about. So this is like getting a little more open to writing maybe more about stories, you know, that I hear, you know, so mm -hmm. rather than what's really coming from inside, okay. so mm -hmm. I, just, I just started to notice this recently, so you're getting the exclusive uh -huh. on the topic. Woo. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, thanks for helping me make be popular here. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> that's so. great. We always try to get the inside <coughs> stuff, you know, before yeah, it hits the know. papers. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. That's really exciting. Yeah, I think that's, that's what was going on. I'm also working on uh, collaborating uh, uh, with the more like a folk um, artist right oh, now. Interesting. Mm -hmm. His name is uh, Kurt Bicraft, and we started to work on a song. He's going to feature me, and we work on the lyrics together. It's going mm -hmm. to be very different, but you know, that's what collaborations or features, you know, guest appearances as artists, that's what they're for. You kind of mm -hmm. do like what they call the crossover, you know, sure. crossing genres uh -huh. like that. So I'm really excited about this. I'm also working on. Uh, a hip hop remix. Oh, how fun! <laughs> oh, one of my songs. It's not me rapping, don't worry. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, I, uh, I'm having a. Um, we just finished tracking his vocals. I'm having a, a hip hop artist uh, from uh -huh. New York uh -huh. uh, rapping all of my songs, and a, and a hip hop producer remixing uh -huh. the track. So hopefully, I trust my fingers. It's gonna come out uh, so pretty soon. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, you know, all kind of things. I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Malik Work, who's been a guest and co-host here, is an actor and he uh, teaches Shakespeare in acting oh, and yeah. he's putting a piece of a uh, hip hop Shakespeare together. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's really fun on how um, hip hop has developed and spread and expanded mm -hmm. and, and crossed over. Yeah. You know, and yeah. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, uh, it's really interesting to see how, because I, I saw it when it first started, you know, when I first moved to New York and mm -hmm. I didn't quite understand it. It seemed yeah. like a very hard inner city type of music. Uh -huh, very and closed up. Uh -huh. Yeah, and kind of angry. And mm -hmm. uh, it's it's matured, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. and, and it's interesting to see on how it flows yeah. and gets um, influenced in yeah, so many a lot other. Of, I think as a, as a songwriter, you tend to appreciate um, rappers that write beautiful lyrics yeah. because it's, it's a lot of poetry yes. in the end, you know. I mean, yeah. you know, it's almost not like too much like cursing and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, I really appreciate the poetry in yeah. You know, some really talented rappers. I understand it and uh, you know, I get it. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. So I'm excited about this. I hope you like that when it yeah. comes out. Yes, I bet. And uh, yeah, the, I think they do even hip hop country, you know. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> There's a, a client I have who's an attorney and he likes writing poetry, but it, he hit it, you know, that mm -hmm. passion because mm -hmm. he said it wasn't cool, you know, mm -hmm. to be an attorney and be a mm -hmm. poetry writer. But mm -hmm. it's a little more accepted now yeah. and, and it's great. It's a great art. Yeah. And, and it helps learn, you know. I'm I'm not very good with, you know, English. I try very hard. <laughs> I'm a numbers person, and uh, writing I think is is such a skill. And then to memorize all of it, yeah, you know. Thank but you. I think you should do hip hop too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know about that. I'll try it too. Oh, yeah. I'll try it if you try it.
So you have a new video that's coming up too. Yes. Yeah, so um, so I hope you enjoyed that. the little clips that yes, you saw. Yes, I sure did. So in what you saw, Beautiful we had locations. in that order, mm -hmm. we had mm -hmm. Should You Get Mad, I Saw You, uh, Thank You, and The Only One. Should You Get Mad and Thank You were both directed by an awesome video director. He's French. His name is Arnaud Muller. Mm -hmm. And uh, I Saw You was directed by Matt Murphy. We, we won two awards uh, for this one in Indie Film, f film Festivals. Great for you. And then, um, well, Thank You was uh, featured on a bunch of inspiring, inspirational type of blogs, you know. Uh -huh. And, you know, blogs about, you know, that talk about uh, values, the gratitude, or even mm -hmm. law of attraction type mm -hmm. of blogs. And that was really cool because they have a big following in this type of topic, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was great to get exposed to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only one uh, this summer is getting screen at three film festivals. That's exciting. Uh, one is called, uh, it's in Rahway, Rahway International Film Festival. Uh, the other one is Trenton, mm -hmm. this is also in uh, New Jersey. And the last one is in Hudson, Ohio. It's called, uh, it's the 19th Indie Gathering International Good Film Festival. You. And I won the award of best pop music video. That's I awesome. just heard this like, this past week, so uh, you're getting exclusive again. You know? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's really exciting. And these are all because you've done research and in try yeah, to Yeah, film festivals. Good uh, for you. Yeah, you know, you just, I, and wonderful. this is also a nice way to get exposed to uh, film directors yes. that need music for their, you know, for their stuff yeah. or that want to do documentaries or, you know, yeah. I think, yeah, I really like the the film industry in that way. I'm not an actress, so I probably will never be. Well, you never know. <laughs> I, don't know. I never guessed that I would be taking improv comedy lessons. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm going to say just not right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's a little, yeah. But <laughs> well, yeah, I think this is great. And um, yeah, like you said, I am working on a new music video. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's for my song Like a Feather, which is on on this mm -hmm. this record. It's track one on my latest album here, uh, it's called Beautiful Sun. So it's called Like a Feather, and uh, we already started to do a few scenes. It's going to be very, very, very different. I'm mm -hmm. having an artistic director working on it. I'm mm -hmm. not saying anything oh, of it? how it's going to be. Uh -huh. um, I'm in it, but not as much as in the other videos, but I'm still in it, but uh -huh. it's different. So oh, I'm not gonna say too much. Um, Are you leaving it totally up to the artistic director? Yeah. Oh, is yeah, that good? Yeah, good for it's, you. This is gonna be really, really, I'm really, really excited. So I to see some, some clips of it. Uh -huh. And uh, what we wanna do with that, because it's going to be really, really artistic, we want to send it out to many, many film festivals mm -hmm. for, for this one, even more than the others, mm -hmm. and get screened, I don't know, like hopefully 50 fi film festivals. Good and for you. Get, you know, uh, her art and, you know, my music, you know, exposed and everything. And uh, because of that, um, this does cost money. When you yeah. submit, yes. there's an entry fee for all Well, I was thinking about that. Uh -huh. yeah. So I have a fundraiser, uh -huh. and it's on GoFundMe.com. But it's actually, if you go to my website, mm -hmm. it's my latest uh, blog po post, and mm -hmm. you can you can see exactly um, the exclusives or the rewards that you can get uh, mm -hmm. when you you know if you want to participate and donate anything, you know, mm -hmm. and you get really like uh, I don't know. One of the uh, rewards is a. Uh, Handwritten recipe of oh. a French, <laughs> French, you know, plate, what you know, from but handwritten by my mom. So oh. I put that in there. <laughs> so you know, for whoever wants to uh, to do that. For so everybody who yeah, loves yeah, cooking. Yeah. yeah. So I'm inviting anyone, you know, to support the arts mm -hmm. and uh, support independent artists because mm -hmm. that's this is where music comes from. You know, without us, there wouldn't be any music. Right. You know, yeah. major labels don't do anything anymore. So you have to support us. So that's right. I encourage anyone to support this fundraiser and any any other independent artist fundraisers out yeah. there. Yeah, and I'm glad to be a participant, you know, uh, providing a platform for people Thank to come you. through, and <laughs> it's really exciting. Now, mm -hmm. when you mentioned about your fundraiser, I asked if it was a Kickstarter program, but you said that you're using another Yeah, program. I'm actually, I recommend this site. I, I'm using GoFundMe.com. Go it's actually, mm -hmm. before Kickstarter, it's, um, it's more popular because oh, it has mm -hmm. all kind of fundraisers. It's, it's got the arts, um, it has, you know, medical, you know, for people who are in trouble. Or oh, it has somebody that wants to 
go travel somewhere or do some nature discovery you know mm -hmm. there's all kind of things on this site so and it's very open you can um, pick the end date uh, pick you know like if ever you don't reach your goal you still get what you you know what you've now you is know, there a time frame for this? Uh, you there's actually no time frame okay, so, so that's why I really like it yeah, yeah. yeah whenever I, I want to close it I close it I remember reading about a girl who ran up well, I don't know twenty thousand dollars of credit card debt and she put up some kind of fundraiser yeah, and she raised is. like a hundred thousand yeah, dollars yeah how fabulous oh, yeah. she got to buy a house and a car and yeah and everything. get out that uh -huh. vacation <laughs> 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 that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, good for you. I'm not familiar with that, but I think that's a really wonderful opportunity. And you said that people have had medical expenses that On they can there, do that? Yeah, all, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, many years ago, I worked in the art market, and there was an art dealer who uh, got liver cancer. Oh, my God. And uh, because her insurance was less than a year's time, they didn't cover her. Oh, and um, yeah. no doctor would look at her for unless there was $150,000 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. on the table. And uh, one of the dealers uh, w did outreach to the artists, and people contributed paintings, and they got a lot of media coverage. Mm -hmm. And would you know that they raised $650,000 for her? Yeah, people, yeah. people are generous. You know, I think this is a great time to yeah. be now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, you know, we don't need banks anymore. Yeah. Well, <laughs> look what happened, what they yeah, did to everybody. Yeah, uh -huh. And I, I've been in accounting and finance all my life, and so I've seen what happened, you know. Mm -hmm. I saw a woman when yeah. I was uh, mm -hmm. back in the 80s who, her husband died, and mm -hmm. she had been in running the business with him for 30 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And after he died, the, the bankers didn't renew her loans for the autos. She yeah. went; she had to go through bankruptcy. Yeah. How terrible! Yeah. yeah. And uh, she was a society lady that went totally down, all because the bankers were nervous about yeah. having her uh -huh. run the sh uh, uh -huh. the show, even though she was um, all along. And mm -hmm. so, you know what she did? She built a car wash in mm -hmm. town, uh -huh. and it was all cash. Oh, there you and go. And there, she rebuilt herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Smart. Yes. Yeah, great she ideas. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I talked to somebody else who uh, his father had like an electrical company, and um, the banks decided not to renew any of his loans, and his t company totally went down. Yeah, and he went into depression, and uh, he had all these health problems. He had a stroke, and he died. Mm -hmm. And he blames the fact that his loans were not renewed. You know, yeah, yeah. because it took away his father's life. You know, yeah. basically. Yeah. So, got it. Be yeah. on your own, got to be independent. Yeah, well, I think we're at a great time right now. We have all these opportunities, you know, the yeah. internet, you know, can let you connect yes. with any, somebody all the way in China, you know. Isn't that amazing? So, yes, yes, this I is I love great. Facebook. Uh -huh. I, you know, people wonder if I really work, you know, because I'm on <laughs> Facebook so much. <laughs> yeah, it's a, soon they want to put it on the watch or they want to put your phone on you, you know, you want to sleep with it. It's, it's good to disconnect from it once yes. in a while, too, otherwise you get addicted, you know. Go to France, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah, go to France, go to yeah. Yeah. So we're down to like, oh my gosh, the last couple of minutes mm -hmm. of the show, mm -hmm. and it was really fun to have you here. Is there anything else that you yes. want to say, maybe a piece of advice that you have for yes, people? Yes, actually, well, uh, before that, I'd like to say, you know, anyone that is interested in my music, it's all on iTunes, Amazon, you know, on my website, you can find it everywhere, you yeah. know, go to my YouTube channel, I actually have uh, on YouTube now one million views. So if Good you want to go, you. check it out, see what's going on there. That's I have all exciting. kind of silly blog videos. I don't even know why people watch them. But anyway, <laughs> and, um, and uh, to all your viewers today, if they write me a message through Facebook or my website, I will send them a free download. Oh. So they have to say they were watching the Ginger New York show. Hey, isn't that fabulous? Yeah, there you go. It's <laughs> VIP. <laughs> <laughs> insiders, insiders. Yeah. Yeah, that's really fabulous. Well, everyone, I want to thank you very much for coming in today. It was really a lot of fun for us. We were all both looking forward to Miss Lily's <laughs> appearance. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun tweeting all back and forth. Yeah. And check us out on our tweets and mm -hmm. keep up everything with Ginger New York and with Miss Lily. Mm -hmm. And we want to give a big shout again to Pete Vogel. Yeah, yeah Pete. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. And um, do you have any upcoming shows? We have about I actually 45 seconds don't left. don't because huh? I'm working mm -hmm. on Sandroyen like we okay. were talking about. Mm -hmm. But I am going to do a live stream from my YouTube channel oh. in August. We don't have the date yet scheduled. Uh -huh. But if you check out my website on the tour page, you know, any events goes in there. 
So, okay. um, yeah, I'm going to do this live stream for, you know, all my friends over the world. It's, it's fun. We've done it before. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it really so connects, to you, connects yeah, you to yeah. everyone. And any shows in town uh, being booked, you know, in the near future uh -huh. will be on my website, too. Okay, yeah. that's great. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, again, the, w the le website's name? LilyRotelin.com. And how do you spell your last name? R-O-Q-U-E-L-I-N. That's wonderful. <laughs> really great. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching us, and we'll see you next week. Ginger New York TV show every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. And Miss Lily, I love your name. Thanks for having me. Yes, <laughs> it was great. It was fun. Yay. Thank you.